Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. It's, it's kind of cool in this place and we hope that you're under good air conditioning and going to be able to stay with us and, and because we have some singers that has driven a long way in the hot weather. So uh, be sure and stay tuned because we're here. They came all this way to sing about the Lord and we are here to each evening to tell in hopes of telling someone, maybe even for the very first time, how, how we need the Lord. Everyone needs the Lord. And that's what that this place is all about. And so tonight we have some scripture. We welcome each of you. We always think of all of our nursing homes and hospitals and jails and prisons and so forth that, uh, that watches. And so we hope that you receive from the Lord what you need tonight. Now, only He really knows what, what we need in our heart. But I have some scripture that is for all of us. And it is what Jesus, how Jesus taught us to pray. You know, prayer... All of our hope is in Jesus, and we've got to know how to pray. We've got to uh, use that uh, because of the times that we're in. That's our only hope. All right, in Matthew, the sixth, uh, sixth chapter, uh, this is what Jesus told us about uh, praying. And when thou prayest, thou should not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and with the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye therefore... Uh, be not ye therefore uh, like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For then is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Two more verses. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But... If you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So that uh, those are the, all the words of Jesus. And, you know, uh, it, it speaks for itself. He made it really simple. He, he made it to where that we can understand uh, what we are to do and not to do. And uh, to know it's serious business. The Lord knows what we need. There's no need to as we'd say, put on dog and try to uh, pretend that we're so religious and everything and pretend to be something that we're not. Might as well be who you are when you go to pray because he already knows what's in your heart, what's in your mind, and how important it is to uh, forgive and be forgiven. So we trust that if you have any trouble tonight with 
uh, spiritual problems, uh, and you need somebody to agree with you. Now, not everyone is blessed to have prayer partners, but that's what we have here. We have people that comes to help answer the phones that will agree with you for your spiritual needs to be met, uh, not to indoctrinate you or anything of the sort. We try to just take you to Jesus, and he's going to take care of you. He's the only one that can. So uh, just before we pray, we want to remember Kathy Smith from West Virginia having health issues and, and some other friends of hers also. And then the, for the family of uh, Freddie White, uh, son of he uh, Fred and Hannah White of, of Moorhead, some dear friends of ours, uh, their, their only son passed away and the visitation will be Saturday night at 6 to 8 and Sunday at 2 for the funeral at the Northcutt Funeral Home in Moorhead. So uh, this couple is up in years, the parents are, and this is their only child, and so they really are going to have to have God's help. And we know he's, he's there. They might not be able to feel his presence right now. We don't when we in intense pain like that. We can't feel his presence, but we know he's there and we know he's going to take care of us. And so let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, how we thank you and praise you that you have made the plan of salvation simple. You have made our everyday life simple that we can follow. We don't have to be theologians and know uh, all everything there is to know about it, but we do have sense enough to live right, and so we thank you for that. And Lord, for those that have joined us tonight, we ask for a special blessing on them. Bless the ones that are going through bereavement and the ones that have lost children and their loved ones and the ones that are just not not well. They need they need a touch from the Lord and the ones that are unhappy in their heart, Lord, help them to know that we will have peace when our mind is stayed on you. And so help them to uh, practice this and, and see what you will do for them. Bless our guests and refresh them from a long drive and, and anoint them and uh, our phone operators and our workers. And Lord, we're here on a job that only eternity will tell us the end results. And so we thank you in advance because we're doing it in faith that someone is going to turn from their, uh, be able to see the light and come to you for salvation in Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, we are happy to have some folk from all the way down in Harlan, and uh, Harlan, Kentucky. And it's Tim Goshen and the Believers, and they do have CDs, and uh, they're from the Believers Tabernacle. And a phone number is 606-671-0705. So let's welcome Tim Goshen and the Believers. Praise the Lord. It's so good to be here tonight to worship the Lord. Had a long journey down today. We've had a lot of troubles on the bus air conditioner went out um, it was 112 on the bus hell's hotter so we're still praising the Lord amen <laughs> um, a correction I forgot to give to sister Margaret we're no longer at believers tabernacle we now pastor at Liberty Pentecostal Church so I forgot to do that so I, I apologize I they asked me had anything changed and quickly I said no but it has so anyway here's an old song we like to do I'll face nobody's record but mine when I stand on that green judgment morning
judgment throne tonight that we'll face nobody's record but our own and uh, I'm glad I don't have to answer to other people but I can count on him and he's the only one I have to worry about tonight um, let me sing this old song and and uh, I'm going to do this right off the bat if usually if I sing this song it's toward the end of a service or whatever but I, I feel like doing it right now and um, I want us all to be together in heaven one day and I don't care where you came from, what denomination you belong to or used to belong to or whatever. Um, I want to tell you Jesus loves you. And he's going to prepare a place for you. And this very moment, if you call on his name, he said, Whosoever, whosoever shall believe upon him, whoever calls on him shall be saved. And that's his word. And tonight, if you're watching... You know, the last time we were here, I think we had two, was it two people that called in and gave their heart to the Lord. If you're watching tonight, won't you make that decision and make him your Savior? It's the greatest decision you'll ever make. And I promise you the words of this song, I want us to be together in heaven. Give G, guys. You may have a fancy car, a brand new house. That shines by far And you may live to be a hundred years old Oh, but if you have not been saved One day it'll end with the grave But I want us to be together I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk on streets of 
He may be a millionaire Wearing clothes beyond compare And he may have the best that money can buy Listen to this One day in hell, you'll lift your eyes, but I want us to be together in heaven, and I want us to be together in heaven, I want to walk on street. Of your goal. I want to run through the fields of green clover, see the mansion, smell the flower, hear the sea. That, that's a simple decision to make just as I said a moment ago all we got to do is call on him and he's willing to answer praise God give me the key of C guys if you haven't made that decision yet to make him your savior I want you to think of the words of this song well I'm not on an eagle trip I'm nothing on my own. Make mistakes often slip, just common flee. Just why I say I'm of a special kind. We'll get it in a minute, guys. <laughs> oh, when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. Now we'll get it. Oh. 
home is mine. on the spot there. I was thinking one song and playing another. Um, happens a lot, but uh, you guys did great. You followed me even though I was going the wrong way. That's great. All right. Um, let's do this one. Give G, guys. Well, Jesus got a hold of my life and won't let me go. Oh, Jesus got into my heart, into my soul. Well, I used to be oh so sad, but now I'm free and glad. Because Jesus got a hold of my life and won't let me go. Aren't you getting just a little bit tired of fooling? thing that you've ever found. Jesus got a hold of my life and won't let me go. Well, Jesus got into my heart, into my soul.
to him, he can fix it. And I, I've been singing this song now for a few weeks. Um, it has become one of my absolute favorites. And uh, if you give your life to Jesus, he can take your life and he'll live through it. And uh, this is an old song that Kenny Henson used to sing. And it said, he's having the time of my life. And he'll live through you and he'll have a wonderful time in your life. Amen. Key of A, guys, please. Will he put my life back together? I turn. something out of it you know I, I think about the scripture the scripture said we're nothing we're absolutely nothing the bible teaches us that we're just filthy rags but because of his grace and because of his mercy he comes in and he takes nothing and he makes something out of it and tonight you may feel like that you're you're at the lowest point you've ever been and feel like there's no hope whatsoever well i'm telling you something tonight he's right there with you he promised he would never leave us. He would never forsake us or let us down. He said he would never leave you. Now listen to the words of this song. Because he said it. I believe it. He's going to be by my side. Amen. Whatever you're going through tonight, you can call on him. He's right there. Give G, guys. So many directions. I have to 
to say I've got me to blame right with us praise God I don't know about you but I'm looking forward to heaven KFC guys we love this old song gates of pearl streets of gold where we'll never grow old up in heaven that city so fair will all the saints they will be singing glory glory to the Lamb oh what a day my first day will be oh what a day child you're welcome you have won that final race oh what a day my first day will be well I see love over yonder and their arms open wide all their faces Shining with a radiant glow, but most of all, 
I'll see my Jesus on a glory side and he's saying my child you're welcome now everything's gonna be all right think about it all the time when I get to behold him face to face oh my what that's going to be like praise God give me a just give me G I guess we'll make it work (laughs) praise God well God saw me and he knew about my David said, he heard the prayer, he saw the tear of all my loved ones, and God reached way below the bottom for me that night, and God reached way Very well. Praise God. Let's do this one. Stay in G. There's a light in the window and the t- 
thinking about heaven and the beauties of that place it causes you to get homesick we've got we've got one more let's um let's just go ahead and just worship for just a moment if you would right there in your home just worship the lord because god is good amen he's a good god stay in g guys will there are some things i may not know there are some places oh, that I can't go. Yeah, but there's one thing I surely know. Oh, my God, is real. I can feel him in my soul. Well, my God.
Jesus was All my sins away But ever since that day Oh, since that hour Well, my God, He's real I can feel His holy power Well, my God, He's real He's real in my soul But He has washed And He made Thank you so much for all of that uh, wonderful singing. Now, if uh, Tim and his wife would like to come over and, and chat with us here and pray for the request, well, that'll be good. The Howard family from Moorhead said they really are enjoying Tim and the believers Amen. tonight. It said the devil was hitchhiking today and he paced him by, so he <laughs> must have had car, car trouble too. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mary Ann uh, says, wonderful singing. Joanne from Corbin, pray for her two sons. The singers are doing a great job. Uh, Martha from Corbin, singers are very good, and they are blessing her. Darlene from Cincinnati, Ohio, wanted to hear the song, Wait For Me, I'll Be There Too. Oh, yeah. You do that one? I do that. I'm sorry we didn't get to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, Silas from McGolfin enjoyed the singing tonight. Uh, Mary Ann, uh, wonderful singing. Uh, from Morgan County, uh, a son has called for his dad that's going through a divorce and some trouble there. Hargus and Glenda uh, needs prayer to uh, be healthy. They've been sick a lot. Uh, Sandy from Cincinnati, heart attack, needs much prayer. Thelma from Madison for her entire family. Bretha County Lady needs healing. Linda and her husband, Laurel County Health Problems. Uh, this one is from Ethel from Pulaski, lung for a brother, lung cancer, and also uh, uh, diabetes. A uh, lady is called for her husband that's in the nursing home. Donna from Frankfurt, or Franklin County, for a daughter, Tony from Powell County, for his family, from Perry County, the Campbell family, Earl and Goldie uh, from Montgomery County. They're sick and they have some folk there with them. Uh, Phyllis from Laurel County and all of her family. Uh, Jeremy from Lexington, uh, he uh, needs prayer. Um, from Casey County for Sister Frances. Ernestine for Myrtle and Ernestine from Carter County a friend's had a stroke from Irvin Paul, needs prayer. Laurel County, Judy Burnside, a lady, needs prayer. Joyce from Johnson County, uh, Lonesome, and uh, many uh, from uh, Whitley County, pray for a little boy that she babysits with and some problems issue there. Okay, and Kathy from West Virginia. All right, that's, uh, that's kind of what we've had tonight, and we know uh, and then we want to continue to pray for the Fred White family. Uh, all right. Well, you say we had the wrong information here. Well, maybe we yes, better tell that them. Yes, ma'am. That uh, was my fault. Um, um, I, I saw on the paper that said, has anything changed? And I quickly wrote no. Um, I haven't changed. <laughs> but uh, well, let, let we need to we need to write that down. Yeah, and change that. Um, we uh, we actually uh, went to Liberty Pentecostal Church, still in Harlan County, um, but we went there to, uh, back just a little bit before Easter, I think. And oh. and uh, so we've been pastoring there since, doing great. Got a great church, oh, great good. group of people, and. Uh, Love all of them. Hope they're watching. If they're not, I'll I'll tell you about it 
Sunday. You ought to be. Amen. <laughs> sermon material. Yes, yeah, sermon material. Um, amen, amen. But yeah, we're having a great time over there. Okay, then. But the phone number. Everything still the else same. is the same. Yeah. And the yeah. title of your. Yes, ma'am. And the believers. Okay. The only thing changed was the church name. Oh, okay. The only thing All changed. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's. Uh, well, thank you. Um, all right, that's uh, so you, you've, uh, and that's you say still in Harlan County. Yes, ma'am. We're actually right on the Harlan County Bell County line, um, so we can work both counties now. We're right oh, there on the line. From us or closer? Oh, closer. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, it's just right outside Pineville, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I know where that is. Yeah. Speaking of Pineville, Kentucky, we have a coming up this this coming Friday night. We will be at the Bell Theater in Pineville and uh, with uh, a group of friends of ours, the King family and Violet Maynard family, we'll be there doing our Addicted to Jesus tour. We're taking that all, uh, all over. And uh, uh, so we'd like to invite everybody to come out to that if you're in the Pineville area. And now what at, day is that? That's August the 4th. That's next August, Friday, okay. August the 4th. And it starts at 6 o'clock. Doors open at 5. So... Um, it's right in the right on the town square in Pineville. Can't oh, miss it. Right. Oh, that's yeah. neat. That's neat. All right, then, and, and they could call you, I guess, if they want more yes, information. Ma yes, ma'am. Six zero six six seven one zero seven zero five. Okay. All right. That's an easy number. Um, all right, then we. Uh, any other uh, any other uh, announcements that you want to share? Oh, we got so much going on, it'd take me all night to tell it all. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I probably uh, give missed a few up. I ahead so uh, <laughs> we can remember a few. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that whole weekend, that August the 4th, we've got the uh, Addicted to Jesus tour in Pineville. Then on the 5th, we've got a um, yeah. youth day and youth rally at our church there. Oh, and then okay. on the 6th, uh, the King family will be there with us that Sunday morning. So we've got uh, at our church. So we've got a whole weekend booked right there. Uh -huh. and. Then, um, and I don't think anything else around in the Kentucky area. Indiana's next. Next, we're way up in Indiana, so it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, everything. Well, we go up there. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you we get go up around in there. the world. So. Yeah, around the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, that's that's great. So, um, I'm glad to hear you're still still on the on the move for the Lord. Yes, you yes, ma'am. Like take these and anoint them there. And, yes, ma'am. And uh, and share whatever. I've come unplugged. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I've just been here 41 years of doing it, but I still forget my mic sometimes. That happens sometimes. Uh, so that. All right. Uh, go ahead, you too. All right. Yes, ma'am. Father, we thank you tonight for your blessing. God, thank you for allowing us to be in your presence. Thank you for allowing us to come tonight and minister to everyone that was watching. And Father, all these requests that was given in before you that came over uh, by phone call tonight, God, Internet, however they came through, we ask that you would touch tonight. Father, we know that you're the healer. And God, I heard some in there that was needing some comfort in some sad situations. And Father, I know you're the comforter. You're the peace giver. And we just ask right now, God, that you would touch each and every one of them. And Father, if there's any out there that's watching that is lost and undone, I pray that you're dealing with the their heart and father let them call and God just let them call upon you tonight and you're able to save them right where they are and father we just give you all the glory and praise thank you for those watching thank you for those that have been blessed in all the kind words and we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus name amen amen all right amen. thank you thank you so much and uh, uh, we're so glad y'all are able to make it and I'm honored uh, to be here Maybe maybe there'll be a cool breeze coming yeah. through your <laughs> for your uh, yes, tri uh, trip home. Hot trip so, home. Yeah. yeah, but uh, but you made it. So we that's, made it. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so you're at the Liberty Pentecostal in. Is it still Harlan? It's, well, it's actually Cold Iron, Kentucky, but it's Harlan County. Okay. Harlan. Cold Iron, Kentucky. Cold Iron, Kentucky. Okay. Um, all right. Well. Uh, We'll write that down and uh, so we can remember it. And um, all right, anything else? You haven't said anything. It's just a joy to be here as always. We, we absolutely come, love coming up here and 
we just thank God for all of his blessings and his mercies and watching over us and just he continues to open doors for us and we're just really blessed and we just love going out and sharing the word. All Amen. right. Well, thank you. That's a, well, we're glad to get to have, have hear you. And I did not know that you wrote the song, I Want Us to Be Together in Heaven. No, no, ma'am, I didn't write oh, that. Oh, you did? No. <laughs> oh, that's I, I thought who, you said you did. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh. I, I love it, but I, oh, I yeah. wish I wrote it. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I'm not 100% sure, but I think Hubert Cook wrote that, I believe. Oh, um, okay. I may be wrong about that, but... Um, well, that is such a good song. Yes, it is. And yes, it is. is. Uh, every family wants to share yes. that with their loved ones. Absolutely. As they are getting ready to leave. I'm sure of that. Right. So, right. Uh, all right. Anything. I, else I you wish wanna... I could take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, anything else you would like to share? Just keep us in your prayers. We're traveling a lot. Um, we've had a very busy summer. Just a few weekends off. We travel all over. Um, we've uh, been on that old bus going everywhere, so uh, just keep May. since May. Yeah, it's been wide open since May, and we finally will slow down in October. So keep oh. us in your prayer as we travel a lot of miles. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Amen. And so, so you need a little work done on your bus? Yeah. That went, well, the it's just where the heat's so bad, and oh. the generator's getting too hot, throwing breakers. So, <laughs> but. Well, hopefully the Lord will fix that here in a few weeks. It'll start cooling down. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We, uh, we really believe, hope for that because uh, that's pretty, almost, I mean, really dangerous to be Yeah, in yeah, that kind now. of heat. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks to Tim Goshen and the believers from Harlan County and uh, from the Liberty Pentecostal Church for being here tonight. We appreciate all their songs and what they have to say, and you pray for them and their ministry. Looks like we are out of time, so from all of us, we want to say good night, and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.